What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are joining Foreign Cars Italia unveiling the all new Ferrari Portofino M. We have exclusive access before the event starts and how exclusive, I have the key right here to the new Portofino. So Mike, yep. why don't you uh, open up or take off the cover and check this thing out. Go ahead and do it. So here is the new Portofino M. I think for the US market, this is gonna be a 2022 model year. Over in Europe and other countries, uh, it's already a 2021 model year. But regardless, the new car looks stunning. It's so sick, has 612 horsepower comparing it to the previous generation uh, Portofino. So they bumped that up a little bit. And even in the back, if we take a quick look, look at all the beautiful carbon fiber we get around the taillights. This whole rear diffuser is carbon fiber as well with the dual quad tipped exhaust. Of course, we have the Ferrari logo and it says Ferrari on the trunk lid. This is a hardtop convertible, which we'll take a look at in a second. We also, of course, get the carbon ceramic disc brakes all around. Really nice set of two-tone wheels and then even more carbon fiber. And it's a really small squarish weave, kind of like the older school of Ferraris and carbon fiber. That's really cool. If we continue walking over, we have the Ferrari badge with a heat extraction vent or pressure extraction vent, actually. And you can even see all the carbon in here which is really cool how all of that is gonna come right through here and leave out and then channel all behind the car. Really, really good looking car. Of course, Ferrari makes something special. Checking out the front end, we have more of the carbon along the entire front splitter. Channels more air here. We have radiators back there. Ton of openings right here with all your parking sensors, forward camera, and your logos. And then the LED headlights have a really nice look and a nice cutout over there. All right, so with the Ferrari's key, we have the Ferrari name on it, lock and unlock, trunk release. Let's go ahead and actually just do a trunk release just to take a quick look. We can lift this up. So that opens up nice and tall. We have the retractable hardtop back here, which we should be able to operate. And then you still get quite a lot of space in here. And that's really cool how it goes so low like that. So it's actually pretty practical to load items into this car. I like the way Ferrari did that. We have the specification sheet right here with everything on it as we get some more Ferraris pulling up. And then we have a handle, we have one handle. We can go ahead and close this. Soft close as well. Car's already unlocked. Go ahead and open it up and take a look at the interior. Really nice black leather, red stitching everywhere, Alcantara accents all this smooth leather, Alcantara. Looks like we have the mirror controls over on the left side, release handle and your grab handle, memory seating, trunk, part of the JBL audio system, more of the carbon fiber. It's a really nice convertible GT car. We do have back seats. Those would be fun to squeeze into. Well, let's go ahead and hop on inside now. So what I like about the Portofino, comparing it to the new Roma, you still get all the mechanical buttons. So it still has kind of that old school feeling to it. Turn signal stocks, high beams and headlights. Got your engine start stop button, all the different drive modes, and then your windshield wiper controls. Let's go ahead and just turn on the electronics. So we have some of the gauges with an actual analog tack. We have some more controls down here. This one right here, I believe controls that right screen. And then we have basic climate controls over on this right side. And then in the center, all the different controls. Right here, we have the roof. So if I go ahead and press this button, the roof is going to come up. You can see how everything goes. The whole rear end comes back. And then we get the three pieces that come up now. Very cool the way everything is working. So now you get a really good understanding of the overall interior as Mike uh, makes his way into the camera. But nice in here, we got all the leather, really, really look good looking interior. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fire it up now, foot on the brake. 
So we got the twin turbo engine and we did that in sport mode. We'll let it warm up just the hair. That is about it for that. So now let's go ahead and open it up. And then the engine compartment is right here. So of course we have the red coloring for the intake manifold and even more of the engine. Very mid-mounted front engine. As you can see, the front axle is right there. And then all the intakes. And then even on the hood, we of course have functional heat extraction vents. But I think that's a nice quick look at it. We will get back to the main event. So Mike's gonna go ahead and cover the car back up. That way everybody who is arriving gets to watch the full unveil. But what do you guys think of an exclusive first look at the new Portofino M? All right guys, so the event has kind of happened. Everyone has uh, checked out the car and everything. We're gonna have a little bit extra fun. And this is a two plus two seater. So we do have back seats. So Mike is gonna hop in the back and so tell us all about it. They'll automatically move forwards and we kind of already tested this out. I don't think they'll stop going back. So you might have to stop it. Yeah. But with the, the roof down. So how far can I go back? Oh, you can keep going. Because my feet fit underneath the seat fine. Okay, stop, right there. So I mean, if you had to use them with the top down if the weather was nice enough. Do you think I can actually fit in front? Your knees are gonna be slightly bent. So I'm five foot 11. But I can look right over the seat. Uh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right, top down. Yeah. So not, not the most comfortable, but it's doable. Versatile. Yeah. And then, one thing cool though, he can easily have access to the latch behind him. Oh yeah. So, it can be a practical car. Yeah. I'm sure the roof line is a little bit lower with the top, but it's a really nice car. So now we have better lighting. Let me hop back into it. And uh, let me put the seat back a little bit. And we'll fire it back up to show you maybe a little bit more of it. Now that we have better lighting because it's like nine o'clock now. I love the little bit of pops you get. It definitely sounds really good. Now we need to figure out how to use this screen. It has a screen over there. I don't know how to use it. I've never been in a newer Ferrari. Did you mention this is a European spec? I did so, not. Okay, so it's a European spec. We're filming some Ferraris next week, so we gotta learn this real quick. You were going through this menu here. Yeah. It's a touchscreen system. Okay, so. so those are your main settings I think there. That's all you get. Up here, but I don't know. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's all you get. You can shut this off if you want. And I guess just touch it to turn it back on. Yeah. Oh, the vented seats, they feel really good right now. Yeah, that's a nice feature to have. And then we have your reverse. So let's see, in reverse, backup camera. Really nice camera, top down view and everything. Oh, okay, so your 360 that's... is that. Oh, there we go. Probably so... have to touch the pinpoints, yeah. Well, that's nice to see. Wow, you can even see them coming, which is really cool. So that's nice to yeah. see, especially in a you know an exotic car. And then for park, uh, 
That's launch control, that's yeah. automatic mode. I think we have, have to, to pull them. pull them both at the same time. Right. There we go, now we're in neutral. And then yeah, park and brake is right there. Some safety settings are over here. Did you mention that's where you put the key? Put the oh, key yeah. there. Perfect. Very nice. And then hazards, window switches, top of course we already saw. Not racing it or revving it too crazy. <laughs> Super sweet. This is really nice. I yeah. love all the Alcantara. Yeah, this it covers is, everything. It's a very, uh, I think every optional carbon fiber extra is on it. Yeah, did you say the price? This is mid threes? Mid threes. High threes with the everything. So 350-ish. All right guys, so I think that is about it for today's video. Checking out the new Ferrari Portofino M. So this is basically an upgrade over the Portofino. More horsepower, the eight speed instead of a seven speed. And a beautiful car, as you would expect from Ferrari. Uh, thank you to Foreign Cars Italia for inviting us out. This was Super an awesome fun event. event. Beautiful yeah. venue here today. So definitely nice to uh, see everything in a nice location. Maybe we'll drive one soon. Hopefully they may soon. have one in a couple weeks, the, couple uh, months. The Roma and F8 will yeah. be on the channel very shortly, so super yeah. hard contact coming soon. Yeah. But I think that is it, guys. Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next video.